Hi, I'm Sarah Hamaker, a contributing writer with Crosswalk.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about how we can draw people towards church rather than drive them away. Now, before I start on some seven ways to draw people towards church rather than drive them away, I'm going to talk about three things that will absolutely ensure that they won't come to church with you. The first one is nag them. If we are constantly, and I mean every single time you talk to this person, you talk to this person a lot, you are nagging at them to come to church, and you all know what nagging is. I again was guaranteed that's going to drive them away. Number two, frighten them with hell. Yes, hell is real, and it is a real place that people will go who don't follow Jesus. But using, trying to strike the fear of God in them in a way that they go to church because they're afraid of hell, that's probably not the right frame of mind to hear the gospel message. Number three, trick them. This would be like, hey, you want to go see my kids in a play? Yeah, it's really great. And then they end up at the plays at church, which you didn't tell them. Let's not do that. Because there are seven ways to draw people towards church that are gospel affirming and ways that people will respond more. Invite them. That seems like a simple one, but we really need to invite them to come to church with us. Accept no graciously. If someone says no, just say, okay, well, maybe next time. Don't browbeat them. Don't do the aforementioned nag. Accept it gracefully. Talk about number three. Talk about church like you enjoy it. Do you talk about the sermon that you heard on Sunday to the neighbor you see at the bus stop because it really impacted your life? Is church something that you look forward to going to? Are you excited about what your church is doing? If you're not, then maybe you re need to re-examine why you go to church and, and reclaim that joy because we want to talk about church like it's a great place to be. No one wants to go to church if you're like, yeah, come to church. Well, why do you like about it? You know, some of us won't be able to answer that. So you talk about it as if you like it. Four, share your faith in normal conversations. This is not shoehorning the gospel in. This is talking about a point in the sermon that convicted you on Sunday, a way that you see your children growing in characteristics that you like, how they're being more kind because of a Sunday school lesson. Sharing your faith in those kind of things um, in a normal conversation invites the other person to say, hey, I want to know more about that. And you can invite them into church. Show the support of your church. That's point number five. My church is a very small church, like less than 100 members, and yet we bring meals to those who've had new babies, those who are coming home from the hospital. We've organized, um, you know, help with elder care and things like that. And when I talk about that with my fellow, either my fellow Christians or my fellow neighbors, they show them that the church cares about them. That's important. Number six, think outside the four walls. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it's that there are lots of ways to get people toward driven toward church rather than away. And one of them is, hey, well, maybe you don't want to come, but they're doing a really interesting series. Um, you can tune in on Facebook or YouTube and watch it. Maybe that's like a little back door that can get them interested and get them in the church door um, eventually, but maybe not right away. Number seven, be open to other churches. We, across denominations, across this country, we all love Jesus. And maybe the person you're talking to might be more comfortable in a different denomination than the one you belong to or the church you attend. Maybe they're quieter, so a mega church might be a little off-putting. So maybe you suggest to them, hey, you know, I know my church might not be up your speed, but you know, there's such and such a church here. I'm happy to go with you to that church if you'd like to try it out. Remember, part of our calling as Christians is to encourage others in their faith and to find faith. As Hebrews 10, 24 through 25 says, And let us consider how to stir one another up to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and so much the more as you see the day drawing near. I hope you'll consider these seven ways to drive people towards church rather than away from them.